In order to connect the T8 control panel of the ZSK embroidery machine with the computer, you must first change some settings within the computer. Those settings are located in the control panel. Today I am working with Windows 7, so all instructions will be in Windows 7. I will click on the Start menu with a left click, then scroll over Control Panel and left click. The first setting that we need to go over is the user account. The user account needs to have a couple different things. One, you need to know the name, and two, you need a password for that account. Right now I am viewing the control panel in the category view. If you need to change the view from icons to category, all you have to do is go up to the upper right hand side where the drop down arrow is, left click, and make sure category is selected. And you just left click on category. Since I need to go to my user accounts, I just mouse over the user accounts and family safety and left click once. Within my user accounts, I'll place my cursor over the user accounts and left click. I currently have an administrator user account. If you see on the right hand side, the name of my account is A. Bomarito. I need to know this name for my network name to enter in onto the machine control panel. So you will want to make a note of your username as well as your password. Right now, I do not have a password for this account, so I will need to create a password. If you do have a password, make sure that you know your password. If you don't know your password, then you need to change it. So here, I will go ahead and create a password for my account. I'll left click once, and I now have the ability to enter in a new password. For my password, I am just going to enter in the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. I need to confirm that, so I will enter that in again, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you'd like to insert a hint, you can go ahead and type that in. And for this, I will also enter in 1, 2, 3, 4. I will then create my password. So these items I need to know. I need to know the name of my account as well as my password. Please keep those handy for your T8 controller. If you do not want the administrator to be connected to the machine, you can always create a standard account and use that account. So if you would like to manage another account, go ahead and left click and you can see that guest account is off. You do not want a guest account to connect to the T8 controller. So here we would select create a new account and in here you can enter in the account name and you can use it as a standard user or administrator. So here I will type in ZSK standard for my account name. Typically I do not like to use spaces so here I will just use a hyphen in between ZSK and standard. There is a standard user selected, so I then select create account. And with the create with that account, I will left click on it and I do need to create a password. Here I will do the same thing as before. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And as my password hint will be one, two, three, four. I can use either of these accounts with the T8 controller. I just need to make sure again of the account name as well as the password. So I'll go ahead and select create password. Since I have created a new account, I will switch to that account and change the settings for that account. So I will go ahead and close out of here, then go to my start menu, click on the arrow next to shutdown and switch user. Once I click on switch user, I have the ability to click on ZSK standard, left click. There's my password. I will type in one, two, three, four, and then go ahead and switch the user. Once I am in the new user, I will go back to the control panel and change some more settings. I also will need to create a shared folder. 
So you'll see in here how we can create a shared folder. So going back to the controls uh, panel, we'll come down to the Windows menu, left click. We will then go to Control Panel, left click. And in the Control Panel, we need to go to the Network Settings. So I'll scroll over and choose Network and Internet and left click. In the Network and Sharing Center, I will then go to the View Network Status and Tasks. In here, you can see that there is a local area connection type um, that is connected. Uh, right now is an internet type. Now, if I change that to my crossover cable, I will also need to change the settings within there. So in order to change the settings, I will left click on Change Adapter Settings. When I left click on that, the local area connection I can see that it is there along with the type of cable. So in here, I would left click to select the connection and then up here I can click on change settings of this connection. Once I left click on change settings of this connection, it will ask me if I want to make the changes to this computer. I need to be an administrator to change these settings. So I will go ahead and type in one, two, three, four in my administrator. So the administrator does have to make sure that these settings can be changed and hit yes. I will then go down to my um, internet protocol version 4, the TCP IP version 4, and select properties. In here, I need to select the IP address to work with the machine. The IP address must follow the 192.168 and then you must have two numbers after this. In this example I'm going to use 1 and then I hit the tab button too quickly and then I will use 20. The machine will have to be different than the computer but what I am doing is I'm setting the IP address for um, the computer the IP address for the machine will be one will have to follow 192.168.1 and then a number between 1 and 256 that is not 20. So we do have to write this down as well. When I do hit that tab key as you saw before, the subnet mask automatically changes. We will leave that as is, then we will press OK and then close. Now those settings have changed. Now we are still in the control panel in the network connections. We do need to change some other things. I'm going to hit the back button up here, go back once, and we are back viewing our network information. And in here, I will change advanced sharing settings. I need to left click, and in here, we have uh, different things that we need to make sure of as far as sharing. With the network detection or the network discovery, we need to turn that on. So left click inside the little radio button to turn on network discovery. We do want to turn on file and printer sharing. We'll scroll down. We do want to turn off public folder sharing. Make sure that is off. Scroll down and we do want to turn on password protected sharing. So that's already on. Um, just click on that if that is not there. I will go ahead and click Save Changes. So once I save changes, it asks me if I do want to make the changes. Again, you have to be the administrator. So I'm going to type in my administrator password and select Yes. We have completed the network settings uh, for the computer. The next thing that we need to do is create a folder for our designs that will be shared with the T8 controller. So I can now close this out and in here I will um, go to the start menu and then go to computer. In the computer I will go to my C drive. I am going to create a folder in my C drive. So with opening up the C drive up here, I will left click to select 
new folder. And here I will name this my ZSK folder. I just type in ZSK and left click off to the side. It will then take that name. In here I need to right click and then on top of the folder right click to get the options. Scroll down and select properties. In properties I do have the ability to change the sharing. So I want to left click on the sharing icon or the sharing tab at the top and then click share. With this I do want to share it with everyone so I use the drop down arrow and choose everyone. In choosing everyone I need to add that so we'll go ahead and click add and the permission level we need to drop down read and write and then we will then we will then hit share and again type in your administrator password if you're not the administrator and here we can see that our folder is shared so we'll go ahead and click done then we need to click on the advanced sharing button left click on that again I will put in my password hit yes and the share name there it is as a, a ZSK and we will then go down to permissions make sure that full control changing and reading is there and press OK then press OK again and then hit close so now we have a shared folder within the shared folder um, typically we do need a Mooster folder so we will double click inside ZSK now we will click on new folder and type in M-U-S-T-E-R and I can just hit enter that will add my design folder or Mooster folder within my shared ZSK folder now we do need to write down the path of this folder for our network setup in order to find out the name of the computer we'll go to the start menu scroll over computer right click on computer and select properties with a left click here I can see my computer name which I will need to write down which is a n d r e a b o m m a four five two three um, that will be my uh, the network directory that's the first item that will go in and then um, it will be the folder ZSK so that's the shared folder so we do need to take note of those as we will have to take those to our T8 controller as well so now we are ready to go over to the T8 controller and set that up now on to the T8 controller we need to change the software and hardware settings so we will press L7 for software and hardware settings once we press L7 we can see in our menu we have network setup which is R3 I press R3 and in here we can select the IP address and subnet mask I press that and I can then go to issue manually I select that and now I can go in and set my IP address the IP address needs to follow the 192168 and when I type in 192 I can then hit the tab key and go to the next section my computer that I'm using in this example is 192.168.1.20 so in this example I'm using 1.21 I will then confirm my settings and it will bring me back to the previous screen. I need to use the default value of the subnet mask and then confirm my settings. Once I confirm those settings, I can then go to the username, network username, which is the name of my computer account. In here, I will type in the account name and if I need to do capital letters, I can use the shift key, which is down at the lower left hand side and this in this example it's ZSK dash standard so I will use the tab key to go to special characters and tab again to get back to my um, alphabet 
and type in zsk-standard. Once I am finished with those settings, I will then hit the OK button to get back to that last screen. So I have pressed OK now, and we are back, and we need to input the password. So I press R2 to input the password, and in my example, I would hit the tab key and type in 1234, as that's my password on my computer, and press OK. I then need to input the computer name, which in this case is the machine. That's the machine name. You can type in the name of the machine, um, whatever machine um, or whatever name you want, and then we will need to restart. So we press R8 to restart, turn off the machine, wait 30 seconds, and then restart. The last step is to set up a new connection to select our machine design. So I will select R1, which is select machine design, and then at the bottom, we will select the network connection. I will confirm the frame that I am using and then press set up new connection. When I press set up new connection, I will need to put in the, di the directory for my shared folder. In this instance, I will insert the two backslashes and then the name of the computer. In this case, the name of my computer is Andrea B O M M A 4523. So I use the shift key and type in my letters as they are all capital. And then after the name of the computer, I will then put in the name of my shared folder. So after that, I will then put in another backslash. I hit the tab key and then type in ZSK as that was the name of my shared folder. After I type that in, I press OK. It will build the connection and then you will be able to see the directory. If you'd like to select the directory, it then selects it. We will go back next time that I need to load in a design from my network. I will press select machine design, select the network, confirm the hoop and then you can see the network connection and you can select that network connection and see your directories.